All right, so good morning everyone. Uh, how are you? And I hope everything is okay and then goes well. So today uh, we will have the materials, new materials in Meeting 3. And uh, the materials I, I would like to give to you is about the continuous materials about the state and also the um, institution. I mean like the actors in state so uh, before that i just want to uh, get previous uh, materials that we already discussed um that was in state and then um, about the form of the state and also the system of the government how the government do or how the government that used in Indonesia, especially because uh, we, we're talking a lot of Indonesia's case, and how about the, the characteristic of state, and then what the definition is about the state, and so and so forth. So uh, today we will learn about the, uh, uh, specifically in function, the state function, and also the institution that, that run the government, I mean run the state. So, uh, as you know that um, if the state without the function and also the, the institution or, or the actors, it could not be called a state. So, state means uh, uh, the development of state. Uh, it, it means uh, we, we have or our state have to um have the component or have the actors that run the government so uh here are your materials today and yeah sorry okay this i have two presentation today so the first presentation will be uh, belongs to the state function uh, I use the reflection of the Republic of Indonesia because, um, yeah, as 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 you know that even even we have the international student here, uh, I hope that you can learn more about the Indonesia, and uh, the student local student or the student of Indonesia, so you can know more about the this state or the our uh, country. So that's why I choose more specifically, specifically in Indonesia. However, in the next meeting, we will discuss about the comparison of uh, the state. So we will, we will discuss a lot of countries there. And yeah, uh, I, I already de divide into several parts. So here we go. Okay, so accordance with the constitution, uh, we call it Undang-Undang Dasar 1945 or uh, the Constitution of Indonesia government. So the function of the Republic of Indonesia or the function of the state, there are four, um, consists of four functions. The first is security functions. It means that the elaboration of this function that state must defend and in case of attacks from outside and undermining or rebellion from within or inside. I mean like, uh, you know, the demonstration, like like now we, we have a lot of de demonstrations. So the function of the security is how to defend or how to save or how, how to secure the, or how to protect the state including the the society including the uh, citizens secondly we have a uh, welfare function it means that uh, social service and also social welfare what is clear is that all activities are aimed in the realization of social welfare and also justice for entire Indonesian nation. I mean, like, uh, if we call it welfare, uh, the indicators that we can call it welfare, for example, is uh, reduce the poverty and then, uh, yeah, we, we, we just 
a life in the state without the attacks, without the um, you know like Messi and so and so forth. So and then third one, it is about the education function function. So it means that uh, the definition should be interpreted as broadly as possible. Why? Because uh, if we are if we're talking about the education function function, it is including the function of general information, nation and character buildings or culture and hence and others. I mean um, if we are talking education, we cannot only talk about the higher education or uh, 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 school. So the education means broadly, I mean like the character building and also how the, the, the enhance the cultural, that's also the education. So people uh, will educate I mean, like uh, the state have to educate people to understand our culture, to maintain our character building, and so and so forth. So it's not only about the education in school or even the higher education. And then the last one, uh, we are talking about the function of the state is create the world order and welfare. It means that uh, the Republic of Indonesia contributes to creating last, lasting and peace for human life in general. I mean, in uh, international scope, not only in the nation, because in the second function, we, we're talking about welfare in nation, but in the last part, I mean, in the last function, uh, the state have to create the world order and also the welfare. It means that welfare for the international scope, the international atmosphere. So that's the examples, what the functions of for uh, function of state. First is if we are talking about the security functions, it's mean the presence of the uh, TNE or uh, soldier. I mean like, um, how the soldier intensive border guarding by the TN, TNI or soldier. And then second one, welfare function. It means that the state must explore the natural resources and improve the quality of human resources to increase people's income and or in order to achieve welfare and prosperity. So that's why I mentioned you before about the welfare. So it means that uh, the peop uh, state have to um, um, focus on, on natural resources and also the human quality because with the human quality and also the uh, natural resources, we will achieve the welfare prosperity and also um, we don't have the poverty so that's that means welfare and then the third one for the educational function for example providers the subsidize and also the scholarship but also if we if, if you uh, looking at the Jokowi's president uh, Nawachita, the president of Jokowi also said about the uh, character building. So that's also the example on character building, uh, on, on education, sorry. The last one, function of creating the world order and also welfare, we can, we can see that in Indonesia involved in United Nations. That's the proof. In meeting, for example, like uh, now we are uh, facing with the um, COVID-19 outbreak. So how how the nation or how the international uh, countries over the world um, meeting or talking about this uh, pandemic and also how the international scope uh, make the public policy for the international 
uh, scope or international. Yeah, yeah, over the world. And then here it is the discussion. So based on the function, I mean four function that you already know about the definition and also the example. So each student ha must describe one function in terms of implementing the state today, nowadays. I mean like you already see, right? You already see four functions. And then do you think that four functions is run well or run smooth in Indonesia today? So for you guys, I uh, I ask you or I uh, invite you to think how function of state today. I mean, like from in term of security or in term of education, it's still same with the with the uh, function that that state in constitution. And for you, uh, uh, for the international student, maybe you can you can looking for the international international um, news, and then how Indonesia condition today. I mean, like the demonstration, and then how about the uh, you know the condition of the nation. For for function, I mean like the security, welfare, and the international creating international welfare, and also the education. Do you think that Indonesia still have or still in a uh, line with a constitution, or if not, what is your reason? So that's that's our discussion today. And beside the function of state according to constitution, we also have the, fu the function of state according to Montesquieu. So if you, if you know about the trias politica, yeah, that's from Montesquieu. Trias politica means legislative, executive, and also the judic judicial function. So, for the legislative function, the example is making laws, and for executive function, implementing laws, because, yeah, legis legislative is about the DPR, it's about the representative of a citizen. But for executive, after the laws or the regulation already made by the legislative, the executive should run or should implement the regulation or the law that make by legislative. And judic judicial function, it means that uh, the function is to judge and supervise that all regulation or laws are obeyed. I mean, the judicial function is try to make sure or try to supervise, or try to, um, um, how to say, monitor the regulation. It make it should be make sure that the regulation or the laws can be obeyed as well as citizen. Okay, so this is the example for the uh, legislative. So I'm so sorry this is in Indonesia because uh, our DPR have the website and then we also can monitor the uh, draft of laws or draft of um, regulation that made by the, by the DPR or the representative bodies. And then, yeah, you, you know that we have the position, we have a title, and then here we have pengusul. Pengusul means the uh, proposed by, and then this is uh, the date. So, like for example, RUU tentang pengesahan persetujuan. It means uh, the draft uh, 
draft draft the you know this this one is about the economy uh, for the proposed by government and then the second one proposed by dpr government government and then you can check by yourself just just open the dpr.go.id and then you can you can search anything here about the legislation so as i mentioned before we we have state we have function of state but if there is no one can run the state it doesn't mean anything so state need the state institution or actors so what is the state institution state institution are government agencies or also known as civil civil civilized organization state institution in indonesia are institution formed based on the constitution and law and have a system formed by the state itself aiming to build the country aiming aim to develop the country so the general task of the state institution in indonesia is the first create a conducive second create a safe third create a harmonious atmosphere in environment of indonesian citizens state institution also can help the state to er eradicate criminal act of corruption collusion and nepotism so after this i will show you what is the state institutions or what is the bodies of institution uh, so basically if if the if you know or if we read in this statement here the state institution must eradicate the criminal act for corruption collusion and nepotism but yeah we still have a big corruption in indonesia now we still have collusion nepotism so it back to the character building so people because the state institution consisting of many people here because uh, in in here we know the government agencies the government agencies is consists of people also so if we want to all well all runs well like conducive safe harmony and eradicate, eradicate the corruption collusion and nepotism we back to the character building right so that's very very important okay so now i want to show you the second presentation for me so here it is okay peta lembaga i mean like this is how the state institution after amendment uh, of the constitution we have at least we have eight uh, bodies or eight institution first representation bodies governing bodies support bodies judiciary bodies election monetary auditing independent bodies so first for the representative bodies we have mpr dpr dprd or dpd okay so for mpr or majelis perwakilan rakyat this this one is the court the court amend and in act the constitution inaugurate the president and vice president dpr representative bodies legislative budgeting and also monitoring because yeah you know that uh, the dpr have three functions three important functions first is about the legislation second is about the budgeting third one is about the monitoring so in 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 uh, below of dpr or representative bodies in gov in central government we also have the dprd it means that that uh, representative bodies in local or in region so the the representative bodies in region established regional and other regulation related to the implementation of regional autonomy and dpd is dewan perwakilan daerah so re, regi, regional uh, representative the dpd it's only can submit the bill or uh, in uh, legislation and also 
as the regional autonomy monitoring. So this, this is very dilemma because uh, DPR and also DPD almost have similar, similar function. So in 27 or 2018, I think 27, um, we, the government, our government in Indonesia have the discussion or have the, um, you know, motivation to, to erase or to delete DPD. So what, what do you think about that? Because, yeah, DPD also have the legislation, but, all, but only submitting the bill. DPD cannot make the, the bill. DPD cannot, cannot make the laws. Only submitting, only propose. So what do you think about this? Is it need, still need for DPD access in Indonesia or we have to delete? So what, what do you think and what, what is your opinion about this? And then the last one, the position of DPD is a check and balance in the power of the legislative bodies. That's the key. I mean like DPD, because in DPR, that's consists of the, the political party, right? And here, if the political party or DP, the personal, the person that uh, sit in a DPR have the own interest, so the DPD must have the power or must have the, the check and balance to still uh, give the propose or give the, the input to the DPR by the demand of the citizen, by requesting by citizen. Okay, and our oh, second one, Governing bodies, of course, govern, govern it, it means the government, president, vice president, presidential advisory council, state ministries, regional government, president, and vice president authorities. I mean, like for the regional government, it means the mayor and also the governor. So the executive, yeah, they, they have function or they have tasks for defense and security international relation and also political party. And then for the legislation, they establish a PP or Peraturan Perundang-Undangan, filling the draft, establishing the law. And then the last one, judication, judici give a clemency and also rehabilitation. And the last one, realization of this authority from several high state institutions. So. You know that the president, all the function is is to govern, to uh, make, to run or to implement or run the, the uh, how to say, run the government. Okay, so presidential consideration council authority provide advice and consideration to president. The state ministry is in charge of the certain matters in country, so it's based on the country. I mean, like uh, different country have different ministry. It's depend on the necessary of the country itself. And then uh, for the regional, provincial, and municip municipal government, carry out the broadest possibility autonomy except those run by the central government because. In the next next meeting, we have a discussion about the decentralization. We have discussed about the centralization. We have the we have discussed the relationship between central and also the local government. So, what the central government runs, there are six run six matters that uh, cannot carry by the uh, local government. What is that? So. We will discuss more detail in the next next meeting. Okay, so support bodies, the any polri, a police, and also the uh, defense. Yeah. So the authority of of course for for defense, protect and maintain the integrity and sovereignty of the country. So the Republic of Indonesia national police is to protect 
and serve the community and enforce the law. Judiciary bodies, we call it Mahkamah Agung, Mahkamah Constitution, and also uh, Supreme Court offices for judicial institution. So you can see here that it's 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 um, uh, what is so so for the judicial judiciary bodies, it's always related with the uh, law. Yeah, and other bodies are related to judiciary authority. The relevant bodies are police, attorney, general office, corrects, correctional institution, and other institution related to law, such as KPK or Komisi Pemberasan, uh, Komisi Pemberantasan Korupsi, Corrupting, er Eradicating cor Corruption. Okay, so the next one is about the election. So for the election com commission, that will run about the election, running about the uh, election of president, vice president, and also the legislative members. Okay, for monetary bodies, we have central bank or we can call it Bank Indonesia. Uh, they have authority in monetary field. So if we if we're talking about the monetary, it's related with the economic sector. And then if, if we are talking about the economic sector, it will be related with the monetary ministry. So like for example this pandemic so how to keep the economic in indonesia so that the the affairs of the monetary ministry and also including the bank central or uh, bank indonesia and then auditing bodies atau or supreme audit agency or we can call it badan pemeriksa keuangan in indonesia it is uh, have the authority to check and management the rep responsibility of state finance and this body or this uh, institution is independent and regulated position in constitution provides a strong position and must be separate with governing bodies so that's why because this is sensitive about the money this is sensitive about the finance so that's why our constitution make the auditing body as the independent institution. Also, the judicial commission proposed to appointment of justice and have other authorities in order to maintain and uphold the honor, dignity, and behavior of judges. So, uh, the judicial commission is is not including as judiciary bodies but independent bodies okay so that's uh, those or this institution are referred to as a supra political structure atau uh, supra struktur politik what is that is it is often often referred to as the building of political or official political machinery or legitimate political decision-making institution. These institutions are tasked with converting inputs consisting of demand, support, and indifference to output in form of rewards, deprivation, and policies policy. I mean like the public policy. This institution can be given different names. Montesquieu, if you remember in the first presentation, Montesquieu gave the name of the legislative, executive, and also judiciary. Meanwhile, according to dichotomy theory, it is known as a decision-making and decision-making institution. So, it depends on you. You, you, you like to uh, separate or you like to divide the eighth point of the... Uh, institution bodies or 
you prefer to separate or divide as Montesquieu or based on the dichotomy theory? That's, I think all, all this, the same uh, purpose, but uh, in different way. So yeah, that all our materials today. So if you have any question, please, please let me know. You can personal chat me or you can put on our group, chat group. And then this one is a uh, very simple materials. We, we just know about the function. We, we also uh, know about the uh, institution, state institution function or task. What is the institution function or what kind of the, the state institution? You can mention about eight point that there up or you also can mention uh, based on the dichotomy theory because that's only only have uh, one definition. I mean, for the all institution, we call it decision making institution. Or you prefer uh, mention Montesquieu. So it depends on you. So that's all my presentation today. I hope that you understand. I hope you learn something from this PPD or from this uh, presentation. And then, yeah, once again, if you have a still, if you still have any question, please let me know. And then just try do the best for yourself. Thank you so much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.